the night before the training session, uh, usually uh, you have to be careful because if Pep is saying this, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Now the night before the training session, I just usually I eat around 6, 6.30 with my, with my, my family. Uh, it's very early for, for me because in France we eat quite late and uh, we had to make some adjustments for my daughter. Around 9.30, 10, I just have a little bowl of uh, milk or some tea so I can go to bed without you know, feeling too, too much uh, the need of eating something. Uh, so it's pretty simple, a um, lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, uh, I don't eat meat, so few fish. And I'm really happy because today my daughter just want to eat vegetable and fruit and when you ask her for a drink she goes for water, so I guess I've, I've, I've done it. So the wake up time depends on my daughter. If she's feeling good, I will wake up around 7 o'clock. If she's not good, I will be awake around 6, quarter past 6. Then if it's a day where I train, uh, jump in the car around probably 8, 20 past 8, get here for 9, uh, and then chill a little bit with the boys. Half past 9 is breakfast all together, we have to do it. Uh, so you have to sign as well because the manager wants you to sign to be sure you've had your breakfast here. Uh, usually it's either you know what you what you want, you can have some eggs on toast, you can have some ham, you can have some jam, you can have some a little bit of butter. Uh, there's plenty of fruits available, uh, coffee, tea, just depends how I feel but most of the time I go for some uh, porridge with some fruits or just some plain fruits. Every time, the way I prepare myself for every training session is the way I prepare myself for every game. Uh, so when I go, I go you know, full on most of the time. And of course, you have to be ready because going full on means you know, you can, you know, you're exposing yourself with injuries and you don't want that. So um, we have a meeting every morning with the manager and then after this, we go out and we do a pre-warm-up, warm-up and it's game on. So um, the chance we have is that the training sessions are always enjoyable. We always work with the ball most of the time. So it's pretty easy to be fair. When I'm home, I don't really watch football. I don't really talk about football, but when I'm on the field, I'm the, you know, the best man ever. I love it. Any session that you're going to put out there, running session, gym session, ball work, of course, is better than everything else. Uh, little tournament is, uh, is really important and I like to work on everything because I do believe that, you know, within the year you can, you know, improve on every aspect of your game. Uh, and I just try to be as good as possible. So um, anything that you throw at me, I'll be more than welcome to, uh, to do. Post training, that's again depending on how you feel. Uh, if the session was heavy, you go to the gym and you do a little circuit, you know, core work, some stretching, and then you go uh, with the physios and the dog to do some treatment. That's very important. Uh, if you feel good, you just do some extra work outside with the ball, with the assistant coach, um, and often the manager can be can be there to, to assist you. So it just depends how you feel. Everything is there for you to do whatever you want, so it's just how you feel. There is a very small gap between a good player and a very good player. The first reason is you and your destiny. You know, you have this in your blood. Some of us are really strong and uh, don't like to lose and they're soldiers, so we play at the back. There's those with more flair like David. And you can train to be like this, but it's a gift. And of course you have those like Ronaldo and Messi. And for me, that, they are the only two who are just above everybody. I've been here 15 years. The last 10 years, football has changed, uh, you know, a huge amount of changes and uh, the fitness come into it. Um, now you play against teams that before were not as good as you and professional-wise, they were not as good as you. So you 
could win, not easily, but you could win and you would win most of the time if you had better quality. Nowadays, you have the same team with more attitude, being more professional, and it's just harder. So the players are faster, the players are stronger, the players are more aware of what's happening. But the difference between a great player and a good player would be probably the way you live your life after football. Um, sleeping good, eating good, uh, being hydrated enough, and that's down to every, every player. Career is probably 10 years and 15 years at you know the longest. Some others like you know gigs or Toti will do more, uh, and I can assure you that those guys to do 20 years the way they've done it, they had to be really careful. So as you could be a great player getting injured a lot, and so you will never be regarded as one of the best. And you could be a good player who work really hard, but doesn't have that flair and that talent, and you will never be regarded as the best. So. If you have this, you become a Ronaldo and a Messi and uh, you're really happy. <laughs>